Hi friends, I'm Miss Cat, one of the STEM educators at Boys and Girls Club, and today I have an, another engineering challenge for you. You are going to build your name the length of your body. So this activity is going to focus on your creativity and your measurement skills. So what I need you to do first is go find all the materials that you would think represent you. It could be toys, it could be markers, pipe cleaners, craft supplies. Um, anything that you like to do and that you could use to um, lay out on the floor. Now, once you have those materials with you, you are going to measure your body. So the easiest way to do this is you're going to lay on the floor and you are going to put a piece of tape at where your feet is and then where you, the top of your head is. And I will show you my example. So this is my example. I can put my yardstick here. And I can see that from here to this first one is 36 inches and I am five foot three. So that means I am a total of 63 inches. And so that also means that I'm going to have to add more onto the end of this yard. And so to get to 63, I just do 63 minus 36, which is going to be, to be 27. So then I move it this way. So now I'd start at zero again and get to 27. So, when I, I can peel this tape up if I want to, but now I have the space from here all the way to there to fill with the letters of my name. Now, when I was trying to think of materials that I wanted to use for this, I thought of, well, I like to do crafts and I like to draw. So I went and found all of my markers and now I'm going to make them into the letters of my name. So I have five letters in my name. I have M, S for Miss, and then K, A, T. So I have five letters in my name and I'm going to do my best to size my letters to fit the length of the um, my height that we put on the floor. And I'm gonna do my best to fill the length on the floor because that's my height with the letters. So because I'm probably taller than you, I'm gonna make my letters kind of big so that it fills up the space. The size of your letters is also gonna depend on how many letters are in your name and how tall you are. So the more letters you have in your name, the smaller they should be. And the taller you are, the bigger your letters should be. Okay, does that kind of make sense? So I'm gonna show you my example and then I'm gonna explain my thought process. So this is my name and you can see it goes all the way from the first tape mark to the next tape mark. And so, as I was doing this, I was not expecting the letters to be this tall, and so I had to um, resize so it would fit my scale. And so in math, whenever we, um, whenever we keep the same shape and same dimensions, but we just make it bigger, that is called using a scale or ratio and to resize it or make it grow larger. So in this, no matter, like if I was shorter, I would have to shrink it all the way it wouldn't just be shorter or it wouldn't just be less in width i would have to shrink the entire size so that is your challenge for today um i hope you get really creative with this i know like i could have been a lot more creative but this is all that i had um so i'm really excited like if you do do this project you can also lay down so that you can see that it's the length of your name so this is me laying down next to my uh, letters for my name and you can see that my head goes to the top tape and my feet go to the bottom tape. And so with this project, it's really important that you plan in advance and you scale your letters to match the size appropriate for your name length and then also your height length. So I hope you have a fun time doing this and I hope you get creative and I hope you stay tuned for more STEM videos. Thank you for watching.